Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. As I film this, it is day 365 of 365 in 2021, but you are going to see this in the new year. So Happy New Year. I wish you all the best for 2022. I wish love, light, prosperity, happiness, gratitude for 2020 through 2022 i wish breakthroughs for you in 2022 um that is my word for 2022 breakthrough and i really wish all the good things that life has to offer i wish you health i wish you wellness i wish you stillness and peace of mind in 2022 let's get into the video Let's get into this video. So before we get started with this video, have you subscribed? If you haven't, please do. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe, click the bell, do all the lovely, beautiful things and join the JK family. We have a really great time here. We talk, <laughs> we talk lifestyle, we talk vlogs, we talk uh, mental health, wellness. We talk real stuff, real talk, and we get candid about things. So please definitely do join the channel if this is something that is appealing to you and join the JK fam. Okay. I said done with the intro. We're going to get into the video. These are 21 things that I learned in 2021. We're going to get into it. Some things I'll explain. Some things are pretty much self explanatory, but we're going to get into it. Let's do it. Point number one is listening to your gut and your inner voice. If there's one thing that 2021 taught me is to listen more to myself. I spent a lot of time at home. We all spent a lot of time at home, either working from home or we spent a lot of time indoors. And for me, that gave me an opportunity to actually talk to myself and listen to myself and listen to the voice that would tell me, nah, don't do this or no, let this go or no, yes, 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 or no, yes, 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 or uh, let this go or yes, this is a good investment or yes, this is a great step to take. Listening to your inner voice often yields great results. So definitely listening to my gut and my inner voice. One thing that I learned as well is you do not need to conform in order to stand out. You do not need to do what everybody's doing in order to stand out. You can stand out on your own merit by doing your own thing, by following the path that you want to follow, which might not be the path of everybody else, whether in life, whether in work, whether in relationships. If you do not want to get married, you do not have to get married. You do not need to conform to societal norms in order to stand out. You can live your life vicariously through yourself and the way you want to live it and stand out that way. You do not have to create content, in my case, that everybody else is creating in order to stand out. I love how the people who follow me appreciate the fact that I talk, you guys, <laughs> appreciate the fact that I talk about mental health and wellness and we get real about things like relationships and money and all of that. And I stand out for that to you guys and that's all that matters to me. So you do not need to conform in order to stand out. Is establishing boundaries is okay. Boundaries are really important. People need to know when to come to you and how they should come to you, come correct. You know how I always love saying that when you address me, address me correctly. If you're gonna come at me, come correct. Because then your approaching me will determine how I respond to you. So if you approach me <clears throat> coming down a mountain, then I, <laughs> my response is going to be that. But also establishing boundaries in that your time, your energy, your interaction with people, boundaries. People need to know that if I do not want to take calls after 7 p.m., I don't want to take calls after 7 p.m. People can't be mad at that. That's my boundary. That's my boundary line. It says to me that this is what I am teaching myself and this is part of who I am. I don't want to take calls after 7 p.m. I don't want to discuss the whatever it is having boundaries are okay and they are great for your mental health as well really really important and this one is a pretty simple one and i think we all know this walking away from a situation that does not benefit you a situation that does not serve you is okay if you're in a toxic relationship and you feel like you want to walk away but you don't want to hurt anybody or whatever it does not serve you 
does not benefit you. Walk away. If there is a friend who is just constantly leeching off you or it's a parasitic friendship or that kind and you don't want to walk away because you've known them for all their lives and blah 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 it's okay to walk away really a situation that brings you nothing but stress and strife and and worry and concern and you're constantly worried about abc walk away from it if it's not going to benefit you in any way bounce bounce let it go leave it alone and move on and move forward it's okay to walk away. The next point is if you don't make it happen, it won't happen. Facts. Nothing, no truer words. If you don't make it happen, if you don't pick up your socks and get into those boots and do the walking, then it's not going to happen. If you want to get your career off the ground, you need to put work into it. If you want to get, um, I don't know, whatever it may be, if you don't make it happen, it's not going to happen. You cannot constantly be dependent on other people to help you get to a specific place in your life or reach a certain goal in your life. It is all dependent on you. So if you don't make it happen, it's not going to happen. If there's certain things that I noticed about the things that I wanted to achieve in this, in 2021, and I never got to uh, achieve them, it's because I took a break. I stopped. So it didn't happen. I took a break from that particular uh, thing, venture, business venture, or whatever, relationship or whatever, friendship, and then it stopped dead in its tracks. So I didn't make it happen. So if you don't make it happen, it won't happen. Also, another thing that I learned is doing things for yourself is okay. Being kind to yourself and doing things for yourself is okay. So if you've got 500 rand left, and you want to take yourself out to a nice lunch, just you. Or you want to spend it on a nice pair of shoes because you've had one hell of a year and you've had one hell of a month or you have just been so stressed or work has rewarded you with a bonus check and you want to spend it by taking yourself out on a sole location or going out with your sister or your brother or your boyfriend, husband, whatever. If you want to do it for yourself, do it. It's okay. If you want to treat yourself or you want to do something for you without feeling guilty that, ah, oh, if I do this now, the sun guys can't control it. If I do this now, this is going to happen. If I do this now, this is going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. No, it's okay to do things for yourself sometimes, all the time. It's always okay to do things for yourself as long as the intention is there and, um, and it comes from a pure and good place, then do it. Another point is a goal delayed is not a goal denied. Now for me, I felt really, um, I treated myself very, very harshly when it came to her story. And I think if you've been following this channel for a while, you know exactly what her story is. I went off at myself and I was like, why didn't I achieve this in the time frame that I wanted to achieve it? And blah, blah, blah. It's a delayed goal that I want to achieve. Is it denied? No. I'm still going to continue with it. I'm still got plans for 2022 and what have you. It's just a goal delayed. That's honestly all it is. It's not denied. So do not be hard on yourself if you didn't get to achieve all the things that you wanted to achieve in 2021. They were delayed. You can achieve them in 2022 or 2023. Do not be hard on yourself. If you had to stop with whatever it is that you wanted to achieve because you had to stop for your own mental health, uh, health, wellness. If you wanted to stop because you just couldn't, the finances weren't there. If you wanted to, if you stopped because the finances weren't there or you stopped for your mental well-being or you stopped because you just couldn't do it at the time, that's okay. That's okay. This 2022. We get up and we try again. The whole point of it all is do not quit. Don't give up. Especially if you know that this is what you want for yourself, don't give up. That's the it. next point is a tough one, but it's true. Everyone has a life outside of you. Let's not forget, don't be selfish. Everyone has a life outside of you. Not everything is about you. If your friend is not calling you and you're used to speaking to your friend every single day and you and your friends are mates and all of this and blah, 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 and blah, blah. It's not all about you. 
okay everybody has their own things that they're going through people have got stresses people have lost jobs people are under pressure financially emotionally people's mental health is shot because we have just been because of the panasonic and the omarion and all of that stuff people is just they're dealing with a lot so you also need to consider that just because your friend isn't answering their phone, just because your person decides that they want to end up doing this instead of doing this with you and whatever, it's not about you. Not everything is about you. And then it's not done to, with intent of malice. You have to know that everybody has a life outside of you. And be cognizant of that and actually be kind towards that whole fact. Happiness, your happiness depends on you. You get to choose how you want to be happy, if you are happy. If you're sad, like I'm sick right now, I'm sick. But I got to choose that, you know what, I want to film this because I know that it's going to encourage my mood, it's going to make me feel better, it's going to make me feel happy, it's going to make me feel productive, and I chose to do it. Your happiness depends on you, nobody else. You can control how you respond to a certain situation. Whether it be family, friends, whatever. Um, but you get to control how a certain situation impacts you. And you get to choose whether you're going to wallow in it or you get to choose whether you choose happiness. Very, very important to note that. Okay. Another thing that I learned is how people treat you is pretty much a great indicator of how they treat themselves. Take a moment, think about it. If somebody is mean, and horrible to you. They're probably mean and horrible to themselves and everybody else around them. They're horrible to themselves. It has nothing to do with you. That person is probably projecting how they truly feel inside. If they are sad, uh, 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 if somebody's shouting at them or going off at them or they're unhappy about a certain situation, A, B, C, Z, it's a reflection of how they feel inside by what, how they treat you. So if they're mean to you and all of that, it's what's going on with them. It has nothing to do with you, nothing, nothing to do with you, but they do it anyway. So never feel completely um, bad, especially it'll shatter you a little bit, but never ever ever let it take precedence in your mind that, oh, I'm, I'm a horrible person, I'm being mean to blah, blah, blah. It, it's really a reflection on them and not necessarily you. This was a hard one for me to learn, but I learned it. Working hard doesn't necessarily mean making more money. Doesn't mean that you'll make more money just because you work hard. And my next point will explain why I say that. Just because you work yourself to the bone and you've released three videos a week, I'm talking about content specifically for me, and you drop three videos a week, four videos a week, doesn't mean your paycheck at the end of the month will be like, Ah, uh, I learned that the hard way. I learned that working hard doesn't necessarily mean you'll make more money. And the reason why I say that is because of this next point. You can work hard, but the more important one is to work smart. So if you work smart and you figure out and you tap into what you need to tap into, that'll show you that, ah, if I do this, this is going to help. If I do this, this is going to help. So work smart. You can work hard, but work smart too. Very, very important. I think that's the biggest one. Work smart too. Living your life the way you want to live it is okay. No one should be able to tell you how you should live your life. No one should dictate to you how you should be living your life. My throat is getting a bit sore because I am sick. <clears throat> I've got the flu. I've been sick for the past three days. This is the one day that I feel better. So, sorry about the side note, um, but my tea isn't here. I realized that I plugged the water, but I didn't get my tea. That would have helped soothe my throat. I'll go get it just now. Um, so, yes, living the life that you want to live is okay. You should live your life at your own terms. You should live your life the way you want to live it. You shouldn't live your life because your father or your mother or your sister or whoever thinks this is the way you should be living your life. No. You should live the way you want to live it. And you should be able to be okay with that. Because once you are okay with that, then you're owning the decisions that you have made in terms of the life that you have chosen for yourself. You're owning your decisions. So you should be able to live the life you want to live.
period, point blank, catch me outside. How about that? His relationships come to an end. Everything comes to an end. Sadly. Everything comes to an end. Whether it be relationships, friendships, workships, what, 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 everything comes to an end. And you should be okay with that. It will hurt. The process will hurt. But everything comes to an end. And the pain comes to an end. The hurt will come to an end. Everything comes to an end. And I learned that the hard way. But I learned it. I learned it. The next point is, it's okay to switch off from social media. It's okay to let it go. Switch it off. Don't think about it. Don't feel the need that you constantly have to be tweeting or putting up a, 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 a picture on Instagram or whatever. If you want to skip a week without tweeting or putting up anything, on, fine. If you want to take a digital detox, fine. It's okay to switch off from social media because as much as social media can be a great place and a great space for learning and being creative and being, um, you know, a really great version of yourself and putting yourself out there and uh, learning new things as well, social media can also be an extremely toxic place. Extremely toxic place. It can mess with your mental health. You end up feeling like you're not doing enough when you're doing so much. You can end up feeling like, you know, people have it better than you. When you, all you're looking at is a picture that someone could have taken three weeks ago and they posted it today. That person could be crying at that point. But here you're thinking that, yo, people are living better than me out here. Meanwhile, they're not. Meanwhile, they're not. So sorry about that. Meanwhile, they're not. So it's those kinds of things that you also need to consider that it's okay sometimes to switch off. Very, very important for your mental health. From social media is be curious and less critical so if you don't understand something instead of criticizing it be curious try to find out more about it try to find out why if you don't understand it like okay oh okay so this is how they do it I swear no instead of being critical try and understand why learn more about that specific thing or whatever that thing is learn a bit more about it before being critical about it you feel me? You hear my chat? So I really think that um, uh, being curious opens up your mind a little bit, broadens your horizons. Instead, it doesn't keep you narrow focus. It actually broadens you a little bit. But you need to have the drive. You need to be curious about it. You need to want to know more. But don't criticize everything also at the same time. And then this is a very important one, especially for me, especially with social media. Be consistent. Show up. Be there. Show up for the game, man. Consistency is key. And I've said this in many videos of mine over 2021. Consistency is key. Be consistent. And if there's something that I learned and saw for myself <clears throat> with Vlogtober and also with all the content that I put out in December 2021, consistency is key. Because I saw it at the, at, uh, at the, with the paycheck that I got from YouTube at the end of each, those two months. Consistency is key. Show up. If you show up, be about it. And be about your... your be, know your shit. Be about it. Master your stuff. But you have to be consistent. You can't expect inconsistency, but expect results. You can't be inconsistent, but expect results. You have to be consistent, even though it means that it's going to be difficult. It's going to take a lot out of you. Some days you're going to film even when you don't want to. Case in point, today, today, I am feeling so sick, but I'm filming. Consistency is key. Because now you can't cry about, I don't know, I don't know about this, blah, 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 blah. Like in, in, in the sense of YouTube, let me make an, an example with me being a content creator. You can't cry about, ah, people don't like my content or this and this and this, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, you only upload a video once every six months. You're not being consistent. Bring up, show up, be about it. Consistency is key. The next one is it's okay to mess up. It's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. We're human. You're going to mess up with your relationships, your friendships. You're going to mess up at work. You're going to mess up with family. You're going to mess up. You're going to mess up. It's okay to mess up. The most important thing is how do you fix it? Are you prepared to fix it? 
If you feel like I messed up, man, I said something real mean to a good friend of mine. I shouldn't have said this. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have done that. How do you plan on fixing it? Fix it then. If you feel like you done messed up, fix it, sis. But it's okay to mess up. It's okay to make mistakes. None of us are perfect. All of us make mistakes. All of us, all of, all of us make mistakes. None of us are perfect. What matters the most is how do you fix it? Are you prepared to fix it? The next point that I heard, that I remember learning in 2021 is it's okay not to have all the answers. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to know how things are going to turn out with your YouTube channel. You don't have to know how things are going to turn out with um, uh, your life, your relationship, your friendships. It's okay not to have all the answers. That's, I feel, for me personally, the beauty about being human. It's okay not to have all the answers. Because then having, then it takes the fun out of everything. If you know how something is going to end up, then it takes out the fun of everything. It's living life not knowing what the end result is going to be that makes it all the more exhilarating. So it's okay not to know, have all the answers. That's fine. Happiness is found, for me, happiness is found in the smallest of things. You know, I used to think that, you know, material things would make one happy and whatever, and having a lot of money would make one happy. I must tell you, in this year, some of the smallest things that have made me happy is one, romanticizing my life, focusing on things that I like, reading a book, pouring myself a cup of tea, making a hot soup on a cold day, um, sleeping on fresh linen, clean linen, doesn't have to be new, it's clean, sleeping on it and actually feeling it against your skin. Um, moments with family, laughing, chatting, moments with friends where you are your most truest self. Small moments like that. Pouring yourself a cup of tea. Like I really would love to pour myself a cup of tea right now, but because I'm pretty much done, it's fine. Smallest things make you happy. Happiness comes from the smallest of things and not necessarily the car you drive or how expensive the watch on your wrist is or how expensive that bag is. Nah. Happiness comes with the smallest of things. And for me, given that mental health is so important to me, I realized that happiness for me is my mental well-being as well. If I'm in a great place mentally, I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. I feel for me, I learned it and uh, I, I'm still continuing to learn it. The last one is what is meant for me will find me. That's it. Those are all the notes. Written, down, done, dusted. What is meant for me will find me. I don't have to worry about, hey, why aren't I this? Why haven't I got this? Why don't I have a child? Why what is meant for me will find me in my time. In God's time, but also in my time. If it's not my season yet, it's not my season. If it's not my season to shine, it's not my season to shine. What is meant for me will come and find me. Whether I'm sitting in Dubai on a holiday or whether I'm sitting here in my house or whether I'm sitting somewhere, you know, or whether I, I've lost my job and now I'm wondering what's going on with my life and all of that, what is meant for me will find me. I learned that this year. And, um, yeah, I learned it with my relationship. I learned it with my friendships. I learned it with work, productivity. I learned, I learned all of those things. What is meant for me will find me. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great 2022. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe. Join the family. Please do not just be a watcher. Please subscribe. It's free. You can just watch one video then disappear. That's it. Um, thank you so much for joining me on the channel. Uh, really, really hope to see you in the next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Mwah.